When you set up a new store with Shopify, Shopify will try to help you as much as possible in making it easy to receive money from your payments. That includes helping you set up new payment gateway accounts so that you can receive payments. By default, Shopify wants you to use either Stripe or PayPal Express. Both are great, both are very easy to use, and you can get your money back from them very easily. The best option, in my opinion, and also in Shopify's opinion, is to use Stripe. Now, Stripe is a fairly new player in the market, but it's very popular because unlike PayPal, Stripe doesn't pull the customer off your site when they have to do the payment. You stay on the site and it looks more transparent than with PayPal. Shopify assumes you don't already have a Stripe account. And I'll show you in a little bit what you do if you do have a Stripe account, but let's assume you don't. If you don't and you have no experience with Stripe before you do anything, I recommend you go to stripe.com and learn about the service and figure out whether or not this is right for you. The bottom line is Stripe will charge you a simple fee of 2.9% of the cost of the sale plus 30 cents for each transaction. This is comparable to what PayPal charges and it's also comparable to rates with other services. If you don't have an account, Shopify will help you set up a Stripe account. All you need to do is click on Complete Stripe Account Setup here, this big green button, and you are taken to a page where Shopify will collect all the information necessary to set up a Stripe account for you. Of course, you can go to stripe.com and put in the same information and set up the same account, but Shopify makes it a little bit easier. Now here you have to be prepared to provide a lot of information about your business. Stripe is asking for everything from the type of business you are running to how much you think your average order is going to be and how fast it takes to ship that order. You have to put in information about your legal business name and your tax ID. You have to put in your business address. You have to put in your personal details, including the last four digits of your social security number. And you have to put in information about your bank so that Stripe can send the money directly to your bank account. If you're worried about privacy, don't be. If you look up in your address bar, you'll see that green padlock and HTTPS, meaning you are now on a secure server, and this information is only passed to Stripe, a place where you would have to provide this information if you want to use that service. When you fill out all this information and you've decided you want to use Stripe with a new account, click on Complete Account Setup, this big green button, and you'll get a new account set up with Stripe that you can then use to receive payments. But what if you already have a Stripe account? In that case, I'm going to hit cancel here to close that window out. And then instead of clicking on complete Stripe account setup, I'm going to click on edit. Then I'm going to scroll down and deactivate the option. And yes, that sounds a little bit strange. Why would I deactivate it if I want to use it? Well, the reason I'm deactivating it is because I need to reactivate it here by selecting credit card gateway and Stripe and now I can click on Activate. This will take me to Stripe. And from here, I can click on Already Have a Stripe Account and click Sign In. And now I can sign into my own Stripe account and activate my existing Stripe account to the site. By doing it this way, I am logged into Stripe in my original Stripe account when I set up the information for Shopify. And here you'll see again, I have to fill in all that information that I had to do inside Shopify. Your website, your information about your business, how much you're going to sell, all this information about your bank and your tax ID and anything else you need. And when you're done filling all this information out, click on the big blue button that says authorize access to this account and the account for Stripe will be associated with the account for Shopify and you'll be able to take payments from credit cards directly on your site through Stripe. Stripe.com offers one of the cleanest and most transparent payment systems that you can get on your website, but it's not the only option. If you want to use Stripe, you need to read up on it, figure out if this is what works, and then set up an account with them. But if you don't want to use Stripe, you have other options.